Hey guys, welcome back. We have a new band list for the TCG. This is always very interesting, OCG as well as TCG, because this can show us how the game could look in the future. In Master Duel, obviously, we are more oriented on the OCG side than the TCG side, um, but it's very interesting. The TCG at the moment is quite diverse. I have talked about that with you. I have uh, showed you the recent results of the recent YCSs, in which you could saw there were a lot of decks that were played right now, uh, mainly uh, Unchained, Purely, Dragonlink, there's also Brand Despia, Labyrinth, there are also T-Element variants still running around, uh, the new Infernoble Knight card, so a lot of diversity and uh, people uh, were like, so, so this was the general thing in the TCG community that people were quite happy with the current state of the game, but also everybody was a bit um, like, they. everybody had enough of Kashira basically, though uh, when looking at the win rates from Yu-Gi-Oh! Scope, you could see that Kashtiba wasn't anymore at their crazy win rates over 60%. I think the last time I checked it was like 56 or 57, which is totally fine. It was in line with the other decks, but let's see what happened here. The first change we have is Herald of Orange Light from 2 to 3. So obviously this went, we have it at 1, and this is I think the same thing that happened in the TCG. Not quite sure if it ever was at 1 there or if it was at 2. Uh, you can also see in the OCG it is at 1. This was because of the T-Elements format in which T-Elements could use this card to discard the other fairies, the Ishizu cards, uh, thereby gaining a big advantage. Obviously, if you can like discard uh, the Miller or the Shuffler and you can negate your opponent's card, that it is quite strong. So then the same thing uh, as with ASEAN Master Duel, the card became, I think it was semi-limited here all the time, uh, became limited in OCG and then in the TCG. Um, and yeah, we also have it at 1 here. And now it's coming back from the ban list because T-Element is no longer a big thing. I like this. I talk about this when we get the master duel ban list which uh now we should not get in the next few days i think this will uh i think two weeks and then we we get the new master duel ban list but um I, I like it if they release cards from the ban list that were there because a specific archetype was problematic like in this case telements so herald coming back that's quite nice drytron can also use this card and drytron is definitely not a deck that is too strong but uh, can definitely benefit a lot from having this at three. Then we have Salamangret Gazelle, which this is a card that was for a long time at one in the TCG because I'm, I'm not super familiar with Salamangret, um, but this seems to be the core card. It says if a Salamangret monster is sent to your graveyard, expect Salamangret Gazelle. You can special summon this card from your hand. So I think in the Salamangret deck, this is a condition that is triggered quite easily. And then if this card is normal or special summon, so an additional effect, you can one Salaman Great card from your deck to the graveyard. Um, this seems to be quite strong because I think sending other Salaman Great cards to the graveyard is quite important for the deck because a lot of things are operating from the graveyard and uh, the Salamangrek archetype has recently received a new support which made the deck better once again but the data showed us in the TCG that Salamangrek still wasn't one of the best decks so I think it's super nice that they uh, take one of the core cards that what as, uh, was at one for a long while because keep in mind this was once the strongest deck that also won the world championship I think so I'm not quite sure which year that was was, but um, I think it was back in 2019-18. I'm not super sure, guys. But this deck was very strong once, and now they are releasing it from the ban list because they also have the new support for the archetype. Then we have newly limited, something like this was to be expected. Bistil Magna Mood, 3 to 1. We also have it at 1. OCG has it at 1. And yeah, Dragonlink was one of the strongest strategies in the TCG, mainly because Magna Mood was still at 3. The Drew Swarm is still at 3. So we can expect a lot of price drops with this card. This card was quite still expensive, uh, around 5 or 6 uh, uh, euros, I think. But now it will be uh, way cheaper because you only can play 1. This obviously will make Dragonlink weaker though I think we can see it in our Dragon Link, a Master Duel version. It's still quite strong because in the end you basically, if, if, the, if the game only goes for one or two turns, you will not use all of your free Magna Moods. Also, you cannot search for another Magna Mood, so you can always only take one Magna Mood and search for, for example, a Druze Worm 
And then you would have to hard draw the other magna mood. So you cannot search magna mood into magna mood into magna mood and, uh, and so on and basically activate them on every turn. This was never possible. So um, I think this is a hit to uh, Dragonlink, uh, same as it was in our game. We just got the magna mood at one from the start. Um, Dragonlink, one of the strongest decks right now in the TCG, also won, uh, won the world championship this year. And I think this is why this got hit. Then we have Chaos Space from three to one, another Dragonlink card. A very important one that is able to search your your dragon link starting package with the bestial obelion but also your little chaos dragon starting package uh, which the little chaos dragons basically enable you to have a lot of material thereby enabling you to go into your dragon link place because obviously it's dragon link it's a link deck and that's what you want to do so a few hits here for dragon link which will definitely be weaker after this also chaos space obviously is also nice for its effect to take one banished monster that cannot be normal or uh, cannot be normal or special summoned or it cannot be normal summoned or set sorry and then put it back into the deck and then drawing one card thereby enabling you to uh, recycle your striker dragon which in the tcg is only at one so that was important now you only have one chaos space left so a few of the big meta decks uh, taking some hits and then we have newly forbidden and oh this is also the end of the list okay newly forbidden kashtira a rise heart this is the card we are still waiting on here uh, i'm very interested in seeing um, at which quantity we will get it at three two or one uh, this was at one before was hit to one on the previous ban list and now it's very interesting what what kashtira will look like after this um, because I think obviously this is a big boss monster, but still Kashtira with its normal summoned monsters. I mean, you know it if you have played Master Duel, the normal summoned monsters um, or the special summoned monsters, uh, Kashtira, the Fenrir and the Unicorn, um, they have very strong effects and are also very strong bodies. It's obviously very sad that they lose their boss monster, but I think the deck can work with their special and normal summons and then with some extra deck XYZs and still be a good deck. Though I think this hit will basically like mark the end of this deck in the tcg and it will be more of a roguish option because this was the strongest card this was the card that really defined the deck the macro cosmos on Lex. for those of you who do not know what this card does and we will get it quite soon i think it says it needs three level seven monsters once per turn you can also xyz summon kashtira arise by using one kashtira monster you control if an effect of kashtira shangri era was a sex successfully activated this turn so the big laser that we already have in the game it's quite easy making this thing only with one material and then um, it has the effect once per chain once per chain by the way each time a card is banished attach one banished card to this card as material so this is able to really amass a lot of materials quite quickly and then once per turn quick effect you can detach three materials from this and then target one card on the field banish it face down also and where is this part of the text um any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead okay i have i have uh, not read this card of the of the um this part of the effect yeah so everything gets basically banished like a macro cosmos which obviously like triggers a rise heart uh, a lot of times thereby giving it a lot of materials it is a very big body it can remove face down for the cost of free materials and this was the boss monster for the kashira archetype so uh very interesting here kashira is basically now dead if you want to, to to call it that dragon link no longer one of the strongest or the strongest decks taking a, a quite a few hits here and then some power ups for Salaman Great and also for T Element, you could say, but also for Drive Drum. So, very interesting. We will see in the uh, when is this uh, in effect from September 25th? Okay, so this will be in effect when, or what is, wait, let me check. 25th is the Monday. Okay, though, this will not be in effect on YCS Dortmund and not for the next YC yet, but all the YCSs that will take place after that. So very interesting, a uh, little bandist here, which also tells the story of Konami thinking that the meta game at the moment is quite nice uh, if they decide to only hit a few cards here, though I think the Kashira Rise Heart hit is quite extreme. They could have hit Kashira um, differently, um, not so hard, but for some reason they decided, okay, Kashira is still a problem. People are sick of it, so let's uh, just kick their main boss monster out of the game. Maybe also because one of the best ways to deal with the Arisat is playing books, Book of Moon, Book of Eclipse, and as I showed you in the videos before, a lot of people are basically playing triple Book of Moon, triple Book of Eclipse, and that is basically the meta, the book meta, you could say, to counter Kashira and especially the boss monster. This is now no longer necessary. Obviously, 
obviously this is a problem because every graveyard based strategy is hindered by this because it's of its macrocosmos effect right and this basically like limits the way in which you can play the game because graveyard strategies are not that strong for example um, Herod of the Orange Light, Drytron here, a uh, strategy that uses the graveyards with its monsters, but obviously is quite hindered by the Kashira Arisard. Now Kashira can still banish face down with Fenrir and stuff, but has no longer the everything will get banished effect, though Shifter is obviously still in the game. So very interesting here. I hope you also find it interesting. Uh, if you like my videos, please consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up and the notification bell. This helps out a lot and we will see each other in the next one.